Hey there, John Morris here, JohnMorrisOnline.com. So this one I want to talk about how to find the good jobs on Upwork. And this is one I, I tend to get a lot. It's often the most common refrain from the Upwork is a scam folks that uh, like to troll my YouTube channel. But I know there's also some well-meaning folks who just haven't learned how to do this yet or maybe haven't thought of it or whatever. So anyway, there's a very simple way to weed out all the junk projects on Upwork and get to the good high paying jobs with clients that are easy to work with and so forth. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to log into your Upwork account and you just want to run a search for whatever your niche is, whatever you happen to do. So I'm just going to do WordPress plugin like this. This is kind of the main thing that I do if I do do freelance work. And you'll see here right off the top, there's 1,643 jobs for that search. And if you scroll through these, you'll see s different things in here that sort of matter. So, for example, this first one says payment unverified, zero spent. Whereas the second one says payment verified, 3K spent, 8K spent, etc. And so these are all just sort of mashed together. So what you want to do next is you want to click the filters button. And at a minimum, I recommend setting the client history. So 1 to 9 and 10 plus set the payment verified and then coming down to the budget and setting a budget. So I'll do 1K to 5K and 5K plus. So at a minimum, again, not necessarily, you don't necessarily have to set them exactly like that, but at a minimum, I, I would say making sure the client has at least hired one other freelancer and it's within your budget range at least to start. Now, one thing to keep in mind with the parent, uh, payment verified here is that on Upwork, before a client can pay you, they have to verify their payment method. So if they don't have their payment method verified, then they can't pay you. Now, they can hire you and do that as a part of the the project, get their payment verified and so forth. And that, that that's fairly common, but still... You know, if you're if you're working with clients who don't have their payment verified, that's something you, that you're going to have to pay attention to. I prefer to just go to the people who already have their payments verified. All right. So, again, those are the ones that I, I set at a minimum. And if we look up here now, there's 669 jobs. That's still a massive amount of jobs. And for what I do, I mean... You know, maybe one to two clients a month is all I could really handle and, and would, for what I charge, would help. I would meet my income goals for the month with that. So I just have a really hard time when people tell me that there are no good jobs on Upwork. In my niche, there's more than I could ever hope to bid on, let alone get hired for. Now, of course, finding these jobs is one thing. Now you need to get hired for them. And I see a lot of people who tend to have their opinions on this, but I see very few who will actually tell you what I think is the most important thing, which is that your opinion doesn't actually matter. It's not about some sales tactic or how you write your proposals or what order a client sees your proposal in. Yes, those are all things that you should pay attention to, but they're not going to mean anything if you don't know what the client actually wants. You know, you can be the smoothest talker in the world, but if you're not speaking the client's language, it's not going to matter and you're going to struggle to get hired. Now, the good thing is, is if you click into these projects, they're going to tell you exactly how, exactly what they want, exactly how uh, to get hired. You just got to know what to look for, where to find it, and then how to prioritize what matters to them most, second most, and so on. So... Once you do that, it becomes really, really easy to to write your proposals because you know exactly what to say and your proposals will have a lot uh, greater impact. Anyway, I show you how to do that in lesson six of module three in my freelancing on Upwork course. I truly do believe it is the single most important thing that you can learn about writing proposals on Upwork or anywhere for that matter because it does remove all the guesswork. Anyway, you can access that course for nothing over on Skillshare. All the details on that are at Upwork101.com. You'll see all the reviews of the course, all the information, and you'll see the button to click to get uh, free access to the course. Again, Upwork101.com. All right, that'll do it. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you next time.